Hey guys, today is going to be a quick video about an insane new tool that is now inside of ChatGDP, Dolly 3. It recently has been getting rolled out to people, so I'm going to show you some neat things you can do with it and how to actually use it in the first place, as it's not entirely obvious how to do it. So without any further ado, let's get inside of ChatGDP. Okay, so here in ChatGDP, you will need the Plus or Enterprise plan, at least at the moment. Then hover over the GPT area and click Dolly 3. If it's not appearing, I would recommend enabling all the beta features in settings, and maybe it will appear. Though, it was just working for me without enabling this, so yeah, take it with a grain of salt. Oh, and while we're in settings, I'll also mention that you can add custom instructions if you want to see a similar style or have something specific you want to see every time. This may be useful in certain scenarios. Anyways, now you can ask it to create something, and it will try and create a better prompt that it thinks is what you're wanting. For example, the first thing I tried was a mechanical keyboard in cinematic lighting on a black desk. You can immediately see it quickly generated some new prompts that it would figure would produce better results than what I initially put in. And after waiting for a sec, it did create some actually pretty good results. Sure, there are some imperfections like any AI image generator out there, but hey, this is leaps and bounds ahead of what I used to use called Diffusion B, and even Midjourney when I originally got it a year ago. Now it's a lot better, but I also don't have access to it to compare it. Though I still do have a more updated version of Diffusion B than I originally had, and by putting the same exact prompt, I got this. And even if I put the prompt from the generation that I like the best from Dolly 3, I get this. So this is already really impressive, but what's really cool is how it being paired with ChatGDP also allows you to continue to build off of previous generations, and specify what image you would like to see, but a little bit different. You could see this best with this acorn that I generated. I personally really like this fourth image, but wanted to see it in an ice scene, so I asked it to do that, and it did it really well. So I decided why not try doing it with a happy expression, and that turned out brilliantly. So I then decided to go back and see if it could do another flame one, but with this happy expression, and it did that as well. Next I wanted to see it, but with a more fancy fiery landscape, and it did that as well. So while this is all great and really impressive, one thing that I would like it to maybe do in the future is have the ability to upload or select the images you want to get more of, and that way you can get the results you're looking for easier. For instance, after generating those acorn images, I wanted a story, and it did the story really well, but what I wanted afterward was to use the acorn that it already generated in one of the previous versions, and then have a new one that uses the same style of acorn for each paragraph in the story. Unfortunately, it really wasn't able to follow what I actually wanted, and these were what I got. Sure, it did kind of follow the story, but not with the same consistent style and character of my original acorn that it generated. Versus if you could upload it or actually select the image beforehand, I think it would definitely do a lot better. You can actually already upload images on the default setting, so this kind of leads me around to one way to actually get around this, which is to download the image and then upload it in the default setting and ask it to generate a prompt that you're wanting to see but with the same image. For example here, I said to use this acorn to create a sticker with a similar style. I then opened up a new chat to go back to the dolly setting and then pasted the prompt here. It actually didn't do too bad, but it definitely could have been a little bit more accurate if it could have just done it here directly and seen that image so that it understands more of what I'm wanting. Well, that's Dolly 3 inside of ChatGDP. Here's a few others that I generated with this new tool, and after that, I'll be back.
Hey, welcome back. Hopefully you thought that tool was as cool as I did. I think it's phenomenal what these machine learning tools are able to do and I can't wait to see what they do with further iterations. But with that, if you're curious where I am, it's actually a really cool area. I just went and did a, got my PR finally, so that's pretty cool. And I'll have that as the weekly extra. Also, here's the shoes. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one. Bye.